All right, now we're out here in the wilderness. I found some really uh, kind of chossy uh, stone, chossy limestone. This is probably like the lowest quality of limestone that I would still consider like good for climbing. So I have a glue-in that I placed here a few months ago. It's a six inch stainless steel uh, fixed glue-in. Um, so super bomber. I trust it with my life, but just for the purposes of having a extra bolt here so that somebody could uh, be more redundant, um, I'm gonna go ahead and install one of these. So got my drill and three eighths inch Milwaukee four cutting tip blade uh, drilled it and I'm gonna go ahead and scope out the position that I want for this. So I think, I think just like that is gonna be pretty good. And I think that should be spaced enough from my current bolt that somebody could potentially um, use two opposing uh, quick draws out here. So I do, I think right, right there. I wanna make sure I'm perpendicular to the rock. Uh, looks pretty good to me. So one thing I'll note real quick is I, with these bolts, you wanna have at least a half inch of space under the bolt head. So if you look here, I take off a little over half an inch. Um, it's generally safer to be a little bit too deep than not deep enough. Um, and the reason that you wanna do that is as you're drilling this in, it's going to cut and make a little bit of, uh, of, um, of powder inside the bolt. So if that powder all goes to the end of the bolt, you might bottom out if your, if your bolt's not long enough. So the other thing I'll note about these hangers is, or these bolts, these are three eighths inch. So I actually found that the Romer 10 millimeter hole diameters uh, have a really good fit with these. Um, some three eighths inch bolts will not take a, uh, a hanger. Um, like the three eighths inch hangers won't be able to fit on this bolt. So with these, you kind of have to screw them in, but you don't have to force it. And I think that's a pretty good, good combination. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow this out just once. I blow it real clean, but I'm not going to brush it at all because with this soft limestone, if I put a brush in there, it's gonna have a tendency to. Fucking flies, dude! I'm yeah, biting the uh, shit yeah. on you right now. Yep. So if I drip, if I were to brush this out, it could en enlarge the hole, and we don't want to do that because we want this to fit just how it's designed. So I grab my wrench, switch it to tightening, I'm push into it a little bit while I drive it in. I'm gonna position this hanger so that the arrow is pointing directly upwards. I'll finish my final tightening. And uh, I looked at the spec, I believe that these are supposed to be tightened to 25 foot pounds. So if you imagine, say this is like a half inch long bolt, you'd wanna put uh, 60, 60 pounds of weight on it. So give me a good little snug up. I think that's probably, that's probably pretty close to installation torque. And there we go. And I would be a hypocrite if I didn't test it. So let's see. I am pretty confident in that placement. So let me know. I'll, uh, I climb out here pretty regularly. Very few people climb out here, so I don't envision a lot of people risking their lives on this, and I will check back periodically. Right now it's the summer. It's probably about 95 or 100 degrees out at the moment, so um, I'll be checking back in the winter to see if this is still as tight as I originally got it um, and if any of the conditions have changed. So that's it. Thanks, guys. Hello, friends. I'm back here in the wilderness. Um, I posted a video uh, about almost eight months ago in the summer, uh, in the middle of July, or end of July, uh, about the Simpson Strong Tie Titan HD um, 3 8 inch by 6 inch wide, very long um, concrete screw that I installed uh, in conjunction with this uh, this fixed hardware 6 inch long PLX glue in. Um, so I've come back just to see how it has handled over the about eight months that it's been out here. Um, I installed it in the summer. The day I installed it, I think it was almost 100 degrees outside. Um, right now it's uh, the start of spring, so um, we had a few pretty significant freezes over the winter. Um, and uh, and you know it's it's about 70 75 degrees right now um so i'm just interested to see uh, what conditions uh, what has changed so i'm gonna go ahead and if you remember in my last video i, I attempted to torque it to installation torque around uh, 25 uh, foot pounds but you know I'm, i don't have a calibrated wrist uh, but we'll see if it loosened up um you can kind of get an idea based on how much oomph i have to give it so let's see still pretty tight there it loosened yeah i mean i would i would think that that's still pretty tight tight enough to, to trust so you can see it comes out pretty easy once you've broken the torque and I definitely think for soft rock, really for any type of rock with these concrete screws, just go with like the long ones, the six inch long ones. Um, they're really like, you know, pretty solid. So 
Uh, let's see. You can see that's most of the way out, and I can definitely wiggle it back and forth. It's just got a little bit of bite in there. I'm just going to keep wiggling it out by hand. You know, I don't think that this is something that's, like, really going to pull out on its own catastrophically. So here with just the last couple of inches in, I'm getting a little bit of wiggle. Even still, it's giving pretty good bite. All right, so on the last thread, I was able to wiggle it out. And if I clean off these threads a little bit. So, I don't know if you can see in the video here. Basically, those last couple of threads have started to corrode a little bit due to bimetallic corro corrosion. Uh, since those last two threads, these two right here, are uh, not stainless steel. They're hardened steel for a better cutting surface. But you still got those five inches of stainless steel threads that haven't rusted at all and should never rust pretty much. You know, I guess everything will rust eventually. But uh, these threads right here on the tip are the, the sacrificial threads, which are starting to rest a little bit over nine months. You know, I've, I've placed several of these bolts out here on short walls, um, where personally I don't think that uh, they're likely to experience or put people at death risks. Um, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll see over time. Uh, not very many people climb out here, but there have definitely been a few that my friends and I have taken pretty hard falls on repeatedly um, that are still holding up pretty tight. So uh, I'm interested to see over time, you know, I'll come back next year and the year after and see how long these take to, to start to degrade and if they ever loosen up. So, and as you can see, you know, this is, some of this rock here is pretty soft limestone. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't bolt into something like this, but something a little bit harder, like where that hole came from. You can see inside the hole there, it's cut in pretty good. So I'll go ahead and replace this bolt with a, a glue-in just to match this other bolt next to it and provide a super solid belay station for this beautiful area. Uh, but until then, I'll talk to you guys next time.